Hello friends, you are watching C Programming Tutorial Classes brought to you by AngPro Training. And the topics for this class are variations in functions with respect to parameters and we'll work out some example programs. Friends, in the last class we have defined a function and we have successfully executed the function. Uh, but uh, we can make changes uh, uh, in the functions with respect to parameters. So based on the passing the parameters to the function uh, there are four variations. So I divided the functions uh, with respect to parameters into four types, four categories. Uh, first one is functions without parameters and without return types. So the best example for this is the add function that we run yesterday in the last class. So in the last class we have written a program where it calculates the sum of two numbers. There we haven't passed any parameter so that is without parameter and it doesn't return anything also so that is without return type. So we can also have those kind of functions, functions without parameters and without return types and we can also have functions with parameters and without return types. That means a function can expect parameters so they can uh, use the parameters coming in and they can also and they're going to use those parameters in the functions but they're not going to return anything so those functions are called with parameters and without return types and we can also have functions without parameters but sometimes they return values and we can also have functions with parameters as well as the return types we have already done the first type Today I'll be showing you the functions with parameters but without return types. Uh, friends, in this program I'm going to demonstrate a function uh, which can accept the parameter but doesn't return anything. Uh, right for that I'm going to define the function first then I'll do the rest of the things later. So here let me uh, write a program to calculate two numbers void add function so here I will declare a variable called int sum right sum equals to a plus b right so I'm going to print the content of the variable sum the sum is equal to percent d comma sum okay in this program uh, I'm going to add the contents of the variable a and b together and store inside the sum and I'll print that a uh, content right so I've declared the sum variable but where are the a and b variables so those variables are coming in the form of parameters so here in inside the function name I'm going to declare those two parameters so here void add inside these brackets I've declared two variables which are called as parameters a is a variable b is also a variable so these are the parameters so these are called as the parameters where uh, the, the the values for these variables are coming in the form of arguments from the calling function so I'm going to pass the values for a and b from the calling function I mean from the main function to this function so a and b will accept some values and they're going to be added together right so first go and declare this function above the main void add so remember I should also mention int a and int b here so I should mention the entire prototype of the function I can't miss the parameters so inside the main function I'm going to uh, declare everything int a comma b so here I can declare the variables with the same name uh, which are declared in the other functions these a and b are the variables name which are declared here but they are local to this function 
and these a and b are local to the main functions so there will not be any conflict between those two variables right c l r a c r and here i can accept the uh, input from the user so here i'm going to accept and i'll call the function now after the statement i'll be having the values inside a and b so i i can call this function passing the values to that function so the function name is add so here i should pass the values a comma b so that's it we have accepted the uh, values to a and b so i i'm just passing those values to these variables right so the content stored in a will be stored here the content of b will be stored here right so that's it i think it will work fine let's print control f9 in place input two numbers 3 and 4 the sum is 7 right so whatever i accepted inside a and b will be passed to the here right so the a and b inside here in the calling function are called as arguments so i'm passing the arguments so these variables inside the function definition here are called the parameters so you must understand the difference between parameters and arguments so the arguments are in the calling function here these are the arguments i am passing the arguments to the function here so these are the parameters which are ready to accept those arguments so i can have something like x and y also here so i can change the parameters name these are the dummy parameters okay they are not the actual variables here these are the actual variables so x and i can change the uh, variable name here x and y i can have anything here and i must have same here also x and y i should add the variables right so still get the same result right so these are called the dummy variables you can call or the dummy parameters but you must call these as parameters right so let's go and trace this function press f7 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 so please input two numbers 5 and 5 enter so here the control is now at the statement add function call now i got 5 in a and 5 in b let us press f7 so now the control comes here so x has got 5 now y also has got 5 now so sum is equal to x plus y so sum has got 10 now so this is printed here right so this is how the function works function with parameter but no return type so if i want to return values to the main function then i must i must be returning values right so the category will be like functions with parameters and return types so i have made this categories into i i have made these four categories but literally uh, in c there is nothing like four categories but you have variations in designing the functions right now let's look at how we can return some value to the calling function right so now here instead of this printing function i'll erase this function instead of this statement i'll erase this statement here but i will return sum so i use the keyword so i've used the statement return sum that means whatever i've calculated inside the sum will be returning to the main function so here so i should have one more variable here to accept those value i can have sum also here Uh, because this sum is local to this function this sum is local to this one right sum equal to add so the whatever it whatever it returns here or uh, will come to this place and assign to sum variable here right so now i can print the values out sum equal to percent d comma sum let's run this control f9 oops no okay what happened here let me check 
control F9 not an allowed type okay okay sorry I should change the return type of the function because if I am having the return type I mean if I'm having the return statement inside the function I should I should not have void here right I should change this to int because sum is of type int and I am returning the sum so the return type of the function must also be int so I should change the int here also so this is int and now now it will work finally so remember if we are returning the integer variable so we should change the function return type to int control f9 yes it will work fine now sum is 10 so what's happening here we are passing the values uh, here right so the values are passed to here and calculation happens here and this will return the result which will be stored in the sum variable and we are printing that variable so let's go and trace this f7 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 5 6 so here from this statement it jumps to here and whenever it returns encountered it jumps back to the uh, calling function and it will print the sum right so this is how we can achieve the functions with parameters and with return types I hope you understood this program. Please try out this program. Practice more and more functions. You will understand everything about the functions. Functions are really useful and they are re a very important, a very e easy and very easy concept. Well friends, that's it for the class. Subscribe to our channel on YouTube. Like our page on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter and join our group on LinkedIn. Thank you.